Hey, and welcome to today's episode about VLA Max, also known as maximum glycolytic power. So first have a look at the term again and where does the term actually come from and what does it stand for? It's very similar to VO2 Max as you might notice. It consists of a V-Visa dot, which is again a flux rate, and the term LA, which stands for lactate, and then obviously maximum. So why is the maximum flux rate of lactate glycolytic power? Well, pretty straightforward. In your glycolytic or a little bit more roughly anaerobic metabolism, every time you want to produce power, you want to produce energy, you're breaking down glucose and you produce lactate. And the rate of lactate formation is absolutely proportional to the rate of energy production. You have seen our last video about VO2max. You will see very similar thing. Um, VO2max, the rate of oxygen uptake, is um, proportional to the power output or running speed, depending on your running economy. So this is what VLMX is. Okay, so why should you care? Why, as a triathlete, or potentially Ironman triathlete, or half Ironman triathlete, why should you care about glycolytic power? Like, your, your, your event is aerobic, mostly, right? So why care? Well, you just said that you produce power in the anaerobic metabolism, and it produces lactate. And the source of that is glucose, so carbohydrates. So what VLMX actually determines is how much glucose, so how much carbohydrate you are actually using. So a low VLMX value, this is kind of the lower range, professional marathon runners, very, very you know, gifted endurance athletes, Ironman, so on and so forth, 0.2 millimoles per liters per second. Highly trained sprinters, you know, track sprinters, high anaerobic athletes, approximately 1.0, maybe a little bit higher um, in that ballpark, okay? And when your, so to speak, glycolytic system is not very well developed, so it's not producing a lot of lactate, it's not producing a lot of anaerobic power, then you're not using many carbohydrates, which is obviously what you want for Ironman training and triathlon training and, and racing. However, when the system is highly developed, so the ability of your muscle to produce glycolytic power, producing lactate and using carbohydrates for that is highly developed, then also in the race, you will use a lot of carbohydrates. So therefore, what you should aim for as a triathlete is reduction of your VLA max. In professional Ironman races, you can win the Ironman with a slightly lower VO2 max, no problem, but you cannot afford to have a high VO2, a high VLA max. Why? Because you're burning too much carbohydrates and when it comes to the run, you're running out of fuel and you're not going to make it. So now the question might come up, how do I know my VLA max? Because it's so important for my triathlon performance, how do I know if it's more on the lower end, like it should be, or more on the higher end? How do I know if I, if it, if it offers room for improvement, if I should train lowering my VLMX or changing my VLMX to improve my performance? And the answer is the only thing you can do is testing. Testing is the only way to get an accurate VLMX. You cannot use any training data. You cannot read valid data out of your powderation curve or heart rate or training data. Um, that is impossible. There is a validated protocol, a validated method to test it. It goes back to the year 2002. It even used muscle biopsies to look into the muscle to compare the VLMX calculated or measured with the actual glycolytic energy production and carbohydrate turnover and glucose turnover in the muscle itself. This is how it has been validated. And so if you want to get the real number, you actually need to test. Can be power only testing, can be with lactate in the lab, and if it doesn't really matter, but make sure it's a dedicated testing session with a validated protocol. And then you will have a very accurate number, and you will know how much room for improvement there is to spare carbohydrate and improve your fat combustion, therefore improve your power output in the race, and make sure you have enough energy left for the run.